Can I start the talk? So uh, we worked our team, uh, me and, and Julia, they couldn't be here right now. But uh, we'll start explaining a little bit, a little bit of our process. Uh, we named it the Encuentros and the Entrevías because it's like, uh, uh, like uh, meetings that like lost in Entrevías and also at the same time like meeting in Entrevías because uh, we're thinking about the paths that we crossed there and how people uh, met and how they came together. And uh, so uh, some principles of analyzer, I was just trying, uh, we, were, we were thinking of how uh, our, our brain was thinking while we were there. So we were constantly thinking of, for example, some concepts on some concepts of spatial justice by Edward Sorja and the right to the sea that from the Fed, but also approfundated by David Harvey and Marcuse and uh, Brazilian uh, thinkers, like researchers like Marco Monique and Bianca Lavalari, and also the CSU, Civitas and Polis, Horacio Capelle, some concepts from James Jacobs I have the street that we, we mentioned during the visits, uh, mixed use of social diversity, border vacuums, and life in the streets. From that, we uh, we had in our SWAT uh, thinking of uh, uh, with the strengths the urban scale, sorry, uh, the urban scale and the, dif the, the different typologies of housing in the project, which uh, allowed uh, to create uh, different uh, to bring different types of families with like uh, more or less kids. Also, uh, which provided, uh, for example, in the Civitas, uh, a mixed uh, social demogra uh, demography with ages, different ages. So they are all integrated. And the streets with varied hierarchy and width of streets, no, no, the streets with varied hierarchy and width, and they designed a privilege the use of public spaces. However, that uh, initial thought of use has been replaced by cars, for example, with the growing needs of car because the, because the that community is like enclosed, which is one of the weaknesses. It's an encapsulated uh, community with uh, morphological borders. So despite the closeness to the city center, it is uh, the, the connectivity is very bad. So uh, the, also the lack of sustainable materials and energy efficient building is a weakness. And the lack of planification for car parking is another problem with the growing needs. And they mentioned it uh, we, we noticed it while we were there, and we also checked some uh, previous interviews and uh, articles of the neighbors of the, the local residents speaking about their problems. Uh, as an opportunity, we thought of using house, houses roofs for solar panels and free public transport for residents, rethink planification of public spaces and the pedestrian pedestrianization. So uh, this is for Urbus, Urbus, but also connected, we have the Civitas, the, the, that's the different, uh, the feeling of belonging and the community cooperation, the sense of identity that the entire project brings to the community, and uh, also like being all uh, together in a relationship because they are, they are all participating in each other's lives. And this is related to Ubers in the sense, oops, in the sense of the morphology that brought everyone back together. And as weaknesses, uh, there's like, despite of being like age diversity, there's no social class diversity. They are mostly people, uh, this is the first postal code, Padre uh, community, and uh, there is like a level of self-isolation due to the, the borders. They, 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 they told themselves about like, uh, in between the, the train lines there are like two different communities with completely different lives. Uh, and the, the unemployment and the precarity jobs that are like the, the main source of income there. Uh, and then uh, the lack of flexibility to adapt to change due to the, the, the population being, becoming older and older. So it's harder to adapt to changes. Uh, and as an opportunity, we are thinking of mix of generations, which brought us one of the main questions that we had. And how to use, add user profiles that can reach the cultural background. In the last, uh, we're talking about police. Uh, 
well, well it, it is a mainly an affordable public housing community with provision of uh, public services and infrastructure there, uh, like online, for example, body by edit. We have, but on the other hand, we have an administration that is has been taking decisions without social participation and uh, it's becoming less and less uh, uh, participatory for the society there. And the low level of social power and the influence over the public actors. Uh, so, so for the opportunity, we're trying to improve the connected with the south of Madrid city center, which is only like four kilometers away. It's really close if you think about it. And an investment to clean energy as a way of assisting in climate comfort and reduce the cost of energy. But on the other hand, we had a threat of drug dealing uh, and the gentrification process that is facilitated by the state, uh, uh, usually. Uh, and the engagement of local businesses that are closing there. So uh, with that, we decided to uh, check uh, like, uh, on Google Street, Street View to confirm our hypothesis and what we saw on, on uh, inside, on site. So uh, we created a neighborhood uh, development the development team with like uh, inter 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 interdisciplinary team with architects and urban designers, but also environmental engineers to deal with the question, the matter of uh, uh, sustainability and uh, clean energy, and, and neighborhood association leaders and representatives, town councillors to uh, bring back the public actors to the table uh, and the community community to the table of the public actors and the local entrepreneurs which are really affected by the economic crisis there and minorities representatives to try to attract other people to that community without uh, with the minimum uh, conflict possible so we created a, a Rosetta diagram with an analysis this is like a, just a, an attempt it's an attempt to uh, bring a visual methodology that we will uh, enrich uh, in the future. But basically, we created uh, points here that relate to the three dimensions. For example, uh, uh, do you want to explain? Uh, for example, the, um, the, the, this, there is this association and cooperation uh, which created the uh, United the neighborhood and uh, this united neighborhood uh, which uh, put them to uh, to uh, fight for their services to uh, uh, and then the, in uh, the herbs the part of herbs uh, the, which created the more services uh, for, uh, for uh, in this area so uh, so uh, this uh, this diagram is here to explain uh, to to explain how uh, how uh, the three the three um, the, uh, the three uh, yeah. the dimensions are uh, are connected. Uh, and also, for example, what we try to represent here is like with the plus 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 and plus 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 was like uh, how evolved or how is progressing with the public uh, and the, the, the public uh, policies and programs and the, the morphology and the social fabric there. So, for example, we don't have the diversity of social classes, and we and this is related to the lack of integration with the rest of the city, with the, in the city center, and uh, which is part of uh, it's, which is related to the lack of accessibility and mobility for the people who are there. So, the three dimensions they are interconnected in that matter. Uh, and the environment policies here is on the on level two because we we realize that despite of having the the parque forestal and the vias, uh, many users told that they don't really walk around the entire park because some of the parts they sometimes are afraid of because of lack of lighting. Sometimes it's just because it's too far. So the the main uh, users just use the like the, the initial part. But there are other things that can be really really used. So we can activate that. No, we play. Oh, sorry, it went in the. In the. So uh, we analyzing this context like a little deeper. We selected a few of those uh, options to deepen the analysis, the analysis, and create some proposals. For example, uh, the residual, the residual urban space for pedestrians. 
uh, brought, uh, is due to cars invading uh, public spaces. They don't have parking because when it was created like 20, 30 years ago, uh, the cars were like the, it was created to promote mobility, but the, the cars were coming and coming because of the lack of connectivity. So these areas, we noticed that there were like a lot of cars parked on public spaces. And then I brought some photos like that. So, so it creates some confusion and the, the public spaces, the public areas are not very well used, uh, not appropriate by the, the population. So basically here, like with the cars here and all the other public spaces, these small uh, cars, these small like uh, areas become like the, the party, yeah, the, 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 the option for the kids and the, the families to be around and be together and for leisure. So when we were imagining, how much time? Okay. So we, when we were imagining the futures, we were thinking of uh, new uh, how to redesign the public spaces in a way that we separate the the areas the areas for, for pedestrians and for leisure and just for stay with uh, different volumetries in the square to promote uh, like it's not to be monotonous and to so people can use in different ways. So uh, we had some examples, and for example, we also wanted to uh, appropriate more of the the, of the parque the uh, and the areas and our proposals. We thought of two uh, two different uh, axes, like short-term uh, tactical urbanism and long-term co continu continued and co cooperative cooperative programs. For example, with uh, tactical urbanism, we use urban creatorship with weekly organic mass market. Weekly. This is something that came from an idea from or Orcasitas, but we could apply in Previas because one of the ladies in Orcasitas said that with this high chain of markets, they are usually far from them and they don't get fresh products, and that, or they need to like walk uh, uh, for a long distance or take a car. So we would bring uh, uh, the weekly fairs markets that usually are in Madrid. We could get one to enter uh, to for that population because there are 25,000 people living there. So it's a considerable market. Uh, also local fairs in Parque Forestal de Entre Vies and temporary interventions under cultural calendar with, for example, bear moves, book fairs and others. And the uh, for the continued and cooperative programs, we use the reinforcement of public spaces with the planification of parking sites with these two ways of uh, parking sites. But instead of uh, large scale, we would create like small scales for each of the five different uh, housing units that are there from different stages of the project. Uh, instead of just a large one, because all the cars would be closer to the their community. And the redesign of public space with those those okay. uh, with those uh, pedestrian stakeholder, uh, and the continuity of bike lanes to integrate with the south of city center border, uh, and finally Observatory de Interviews, which would be like the major project with a cooperation between the university and the community for data monitoring and transference uh, to publish what what are the data for the community from the community for the community and for other people from the other actors so they can create local knowledge and this program could also uh, uh, be part of like and in this program we could also have like small projects like for example i was discussing with carmen, uh, carmen yesterday about uh, how to take pictures of a neighborhood that we don't know they can create their own uh, case of the place so, uh, uh, so workshops for children uh, things that they can uh, create they all their own perception of the place and what is really necessary for them. And the observatory would be a long term to create and organize the causes from this, for the this community and bring them together. And finally, <laughs> the ODS objectives and all that they relate with these three axes. And if you think about it, each of these three proposals, they are related to uh, mainly with one dimension, one dimension, but also with the others. For example, the urban creatorship with um, uh, policy and the uh, reinforcement of public space with groups and the several of the interviews with uh, civitas. So, for example, to ensure access to all, uh, for all to adequate, safe, and affordable housing, will be the observatory of the interviews. Thank you, that's, that's it. <laughs>